Hello and welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another Ultimate Alliance campaign video. Um, so let's go ahead and get this all started. Get the show on the road. So now we're going, just going back and forth, just trying to kill some people, trying to get some kingdom threat done. So now we're just going back and forth. Now we're talking to Skipper. Um, seems like a pretty nice guy. So we just, I'm like, hey, let's go have a conversation with this guy. I mean, like, I'm having fun going back and forth trying to kill him. But I also don't enjoy killing him. So let's just, you know, maybe we can become friends and get him to leave me alone. Because that's honestly how I like to play my diplomacy. Like, hey, I want to be friends with you just so you can leave me alone because I don't really want to do anything. So, not really getting any points this whole time in the Lance campaign, because honestly, all I'm doing is just defending. So, let's just go ahead, you know, and say, screw the points. Maybe we can get some of the free point rewards, although the rewards really don't make any difference. Um, maybe to a lower spender, yes, they make a difference. Like, I really enjoyed them when I first got campaign in King of Avalon. However, now... To me, it just really doesn't make it worth it, the amount of gold that I'm spending in order to get these rewards. So, now it's just going to be, you know, going back and forth and talking to people, trying to make some deals happen, trying to kill some people because that's always fun. You guys enjoy that part. Um, so, you know, just grinding away. Um, going back and forth. And thanking people for their service to our country. And then killing them. So, yeah, I mean, it's Ultimate Alliance campaign. I really don't know what to say to it. Um, there really isn't much of a strategy here. It's literally just divide and conquer and be a pest. That is how you win Ultimate Alliance campaign. You're everywhere. You're all over them. You don't give a single darn about anything that's going on. And, you know, you keep on keeping on. So now they're just like loading up into towers and they're like, okay, you guys can't kill us if we're all in one tower. Well, um, I don't want you in that tower, so I'm going to get you out of that tower by any means necessary. So I'm sorry to disappoint, but it's time to move on. And then right in the middle of it, we've got some rogue players. And Kiyoki, he goes in, he's trying to kill them, but they don't like us killing them, so they try to prevent that. Makes sense. However, I don't like them killing everyone else in the kingdom. It's kind of hypocritical of them. You know, if you're going to kill the entire kingdom, at least let us kill you. I mean, that would be nice. But now we're just going to have to go in and kill everyone else that we can kill. Like, ha <laughs> gotta get my frustration out. Like, ah, uh, Lelouch is being a you know how to say the rest of the word that rhymes with Lelouch. Um, 
which is how I thought it was like, le, you know, you know where we're going with this. But, you know, you win some and you lose some. We're still fighting them. I really hate that. Um, trying to hope that this guy will subscribe to my <laughs> videos on YouTube. But, guess he doesn't want to get entered in to win some free monies. But, hey, he could put those towards the aristocrat badges and then maybe he'll get C35. Although, even $300 wouldn't help him much with that. Oh, Shark, I hope you're still watching. Your boy Darth Raid just got killed. That's not, no bueno. Our freshly minted C30 got his butt handed to, and now he's booing in DC. Oh man, Shark has been waiting for that moment forever. And he's finally got it. So, you know, it's just going back, trying to enjoy this, trying to contemplate, can I actually win this, or am I just going to throw my troops into their death? And a short answer is, I'm going to win it, eventually. I mean, probably won't win it on the first march, but I will win it eventually. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's load up. We're not going to win the first march, but we'll get him on the second march. And I'm okay with that. So trying to figure out what kind of march I want to set up because I, you know, increased my march capacity. So things are changing. Um, let's go ahead, make sure we get all of our gear set up. We want our guards, right? We want Blanchard in there. We want our temporary wonder. Just kind of like uh, I do with Kingdom Threat. And then we let, we let it hit. Lose our march. Okay. I, I live with that. Um, I definitely lost more than they did. But let's go ahead and send it all over again. Um, Skipper's got really nice stats. He's probably right on par with me if we didn't have um, the Ultimate Alliance campaign ben benefits. Maybe even a little higher, honestly. He might even have Retribution plus 5. Um, pretty nice account all the way around. But I've got a larger will than he does, and I'm going to win. So I'm going to do that. So that one hurt, but in the end we won. None of their troops are returning, so I call that a victory. Definitely, 100% a victory in my book, because it was a victory. Now if we got 2,000 troops there, like, come on guys, help a brother out. I don't want to run around and chase all these people. Now let's see what he has to say. I know I've seen that dog and that and know that name from somewhere. You should watch more of my YouTube videos, Skipper. I would appreciate it. All right, guys, and thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully my phone didn't die out, which it didn't, so I'm glad that happened, so y'all could enjoy that. Um, and, hey, stay tuned for the next video.